space is considered a fabric. And I thought that this would be kind of a perfect example um, to use, let me take off my slippers, uh, to explain uh, the fabric of space time because I have a giant, literally, fabric uh, that's meant to kind of look like space. Let me move my teddy bear out of the way. Um, so I've been doing a lot with Einstein's course on special relativity, um, and this is really interesting because it ties into a lot with um, his theory of general relativity. And the theory of general relativity is that all of space and time, it, it works like a fabric, it reacts like a fabric. And the reason for this is literally because when you have bodies of mass like our sun or like our planet, um, it has been shown that it will cause like a warping um, like reaction in the fabric of space and time. And I've done a video before about this explaining a little bit of what exactly this means, but I thought I would kind of do one with my, my bed sheet because it just looks really, really cool. Um, and I also just wanted to explain a little bit about um, why we call it a fabric and why it's space and time. And I've explained this to you guys before is that, you know, think about it in reality. Anytime you need to go to a place, you usually always ask like, okay, well, what time are we meeting? Okay, anytime you need to go somewhere at a certain time, it's always, well, what place are we meeting at? So space, location-wise, and time have always been intersecting, and it works like this in our universe. The reason it's, it's considered a fabric is because it literally is stuff. Like, there is stuff that makes up our our universe, um, even if it seems like there's areas that there's no stuff, there's still stuff there because there's something that, that you know, with when you have a planet, there's something that's bending around it and that's what the fabric of space is. Um, think about it like with water and this is a perfect example to tie in with gravitational waves, which I'll do another video on, but when you have um, something in water, right, like you have a fish in water or something like that and it's like you know, flipping its little tail around while it's swimming, it's causing these little vibrations um, and it's causing ripple effects in the water. Or if you throw a pebble in the water and you're skipping rocks, it's causing ripple effects, it's causing vibrations. Um, you also, water can bend, it can warp, it can move, um, and that's literally fabric of space and time. So anyway, so let's do a few examples um, with my bed sheet. So I think a best way to sort of set this up is I'm gonna tighten it a little bit. Um a few different items here um to mess with. So we have an apple, a sponge, really very, very low density, um, a bottle of lotion, uh, a wine bottle that's uh, only about a quarter full, and a sack of sweet potatoes. So I thought that this would be really cool. So I'm gonna start out with, um, I'm gonna start out with the apple. I like pull this tight, okay, so you can see it. And it's, yeah, so you can see it straight on, right? So it's just like pulled really, really tightly. And now we're gonna put the apple down. Let's say the apple is, I don't know, like a low mass star. So you could see it's already warped down here. Oh, now it's rolling. Um, but you could see when you put it down, it's causing a, a little bit of a bend of the fabric, right? Just a little bit, you know? Um, so that's that. And then let's put down the sponge down, right? The sponge. Seems like as if it's not really doing much. It's really low density. Then let's take the wine bottle, right? Okay, well that completely warped uh, <laughs> the fabric. Completely, completely warped it. Um, it's completely bent down. So now let's take this giant bag of sweet potatoes. We're gonna say that this is maybe like a really massive um, star cluster. Okay, so lots and lots of stars. And let's just put that now. Look, it completely warped space time. This is literally what is happening in our universe. Not like someone just throwing out sweet potatoes, but like it's warping the fabric of space and time and it's causing this kind of effect to happen. Now, if this was up a little bit more, you could really kind of see what's happening, but I'm on my bed right now. As you can see everything around it is getting bent. So now if say we were to add like this apple in, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be attracted by its gravity. So now say this, this apple is a star, right? I'm saying it's a low mass star. It's gonna be attracted into this uh, star cluster. So now it's gonna become one with the star cluster. So that's kind of just a little bit of a gist, um, a really simple demo that, you know, usually is done a lot of times, but I just kind of wanted to do it for you guys to have these really cool sheets. 
Um, to kind of show a, a little bit of, of Einstein's theory, um, I'm going to be doing some more really cool videos and talking about stuff. Um, so I hope you guys like my most recent ones. And leave a comment if you guys haven't already subscribed. Please do. That'd be really cool. And I will talk to you guys soon. I'll do some more topics soon. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys.